You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be doing a game, but of the new Galaxy Opal, Bob Nedelecki in NBA 2K23, my team. 6'9", 225 pounds, or 220 pounds. Before we dive any further, shout out to my guy, Nurmany, for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay happen. Heard really good things about Bob Nedelecki's old Shea Brissett release. Is it as good as set shot 25 of last year? No, it's impossible, but I've heard really good things about it. 83 base, 3 ball, and 85 standing driving duck, 85 ball handle. Look at the defense. 94 block, 87 steel, 80 perimeter, 94 interior, good rebounding stats, 86 speed, 83 lateral quickness. The lateral quickness, a little low. I'd give him a shoe boost, definitely there. Defensive tendency is not great. Does have 12 Hall of Famers. Aerial Wizard, Dream Shake, Fearless Finisher, not great. But then you look at Anchor, Chase Down Artist, Menace, Post Lockdown, Pogo Stick, Workhorse, Box Out Beast, Rebound Chaser, Brick Wall. Can't ask for much more. 32 gold badges, Rise Up, Limitless Range, Bailout, Quick First Step, Challenger, Clamps. Badges I'd like to give him. Definitely Unpluckable, Break Starter are the first two I see. Maybe Blinders, Clutch Shooter, and then, I don't know, Dimer maybe, Needle Threader, those types of things. Does he really need anything? Definitely Unpluckable. But other than that, I mean, Break Starter, I'd definitely give him Blinders. I mean, there's some useful badges, but Unpluckable is the main one I would say he needs. Now we're going to be checking out and looking at Bob Nedelecki on both current and next gen. The first thing I will say is dribble style, movement, man. He moves pretty well for him being 6'9". Okay, it's that simple, normal leaner. Release-wise, you guys can see. The Tim Duncan upper is gross. I'll be the first to say it. But don't, don't get caught up with the upper, man. Look at how quickly he gets this thing up. Super quick, man. Again, I hate the Tim Duncan upper as much as the next guy. But look at the feet, man. And you will be a green machine with Bob Nedelecki. Remember, base, right? I, I don't know what coach he has on. I'll look. Okay? Base, I think he has Monty Williams. So base, you're looking at an 88 three ball. Remember, okay? With floor general, with the shoe, you can get that to the mid-90s. Okay? And with this release, with the mid-90s three ball, you should honestly never miss. It's that simple. Normal leaner again. I got I to gotta show you guys that because it is important. Now, full court dribble six. Behind the back, not great. Tween, not great. Crossover, pretty mid. You got to realize, though, as far as offensively, how much should you guys really do with Bob Nedelecki? Now, I'm not saying he's got to be a cone. But how much do you really got to do? We know defensively he's going to be one of the best at the power forward positions. So as long as he's got a quick jump shot and knocks down basically all of his opens, isn't that all we really need? I think it is. And especially compared to like an AD type card, Bob Nedelecki gets this release up there on the rim. Looking at Bob on current gen, the first thing I want to test out is his release. Am I crazy to say it looks a lot smoother on current gen than next gen? I mean, it looks good on both. Don't get, don't get it twisted with what I'm saying. But I feel like on current gen, it looks a little bit better, a little bit smoother, a little bit easier to time into green. And I mean, I guess I've said that with quite a few players. I mean, it, it just is one of those things on current gen. I just feel like it might be that little bit smoother. Again, no leaner on current gen. So, you know, the normal leaner doesn't really matter as much because leaners are basically non-existent. But when we're talking about a pure catch and shoot release standpoint, again, the upper is kind of gross. I will 100% agree with that. But name somebody that's got a release like Bob Nedelecki's. I just don't know if I see that many people doing it. Again, 83 base three ball. Obviously with Monty, with the shoe, with the, you know, uh, floor general, it's going to get boosted. But an 83 base, that can definitely get boosted, okay? His hand, ability to handle the ball, not great, but it's okay. Good enough. And I just think as far as an overall complete player, we've got to respect him at that power forward position. Because the best part of his game... I've not even displayed yet. That's his defense, right? He's going to be able to catch the ball. Obviously, he got front clutch dunks, which is important. And then, especially on current gen, where standing dunks aren't really like that. And then, you know, if you want a standing dunk, he's got that as well. Bob Nedelecki, to me, is looking like power forward one. And that's crazy because I'm really high on Anthony Davis, and you guys know that. We've seen the next gen shoot round. I'm calling on current gen, so that's where we're heading for our My Team gameplay. My opponent... Not a great team, but I'm really, really, really focused on getting Bob Nedelecki involved early and often in this one. Yep, best popper, best popper, best popper on the game. Oh yeah, Bob, come here. One move, Terry, and straight to the cup. Got him. Stop leaving him. 
Stop leaving him. I'm telling you this right now. With as smooth as his release is, stop. Time out. I'm sweating. I got to get ready for calls. Time out, ref. Come on, man. I, I, sh I shouldn't have called a timeout. But it's like, I got to get ready for calls, number one. And number two, if I don't call a timeout, it's going to be a turnover. Wrapping right into another My Team Unlimited game. Y'all want to bet first possession, the pick and pop's not going to be wide open. Y'all want to bet? Who want a side bet on it? Oh, it was, too. It was, too. Got him again. Uh oh yep. Close out. Ooh, he playing pretty good. Come on, man. Bail out! He playing D, man. He playing D, man. At some point, you just got to respect it, man. Uh-oh. I'm speechless for how good some of these new cards are. Yo, that went in? Hey, Magic. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I missed that. Did y'all see the screen Mike and Man set there, though? That was crazy. Neto, hey, say what you want. He can play make a little bit too. I'm not saying a ton. But he can make a play, man. Left, right, cheese in for a screen. Or, you know, my opponent goes under the screen. It's over with. Bob, Nedelecki, green light, run, magic. Uh-oh. No closeout is green. I, I, best power forward in the game, man. That's off. Ew. You got swam around? Do you not have Hall of Fame? Whatever it's called. Oh, my gosh. Left, right, cheese in. Straight to the cup. Hey. Come on, man. You haven't learned your lesson about Bob Nedelecki. Stop leaving him. I'm here, Bobby. Glass badge, we need to change that, man. I ain't gonna lie. You need him to have a rim badge. Just, just a small thing, but on current gen especially, you better get him with rim badge. Bob, another green light. You better adjust whatever setting you got, because uh, Bob is torching you. That's, that's that's a good shot, honestly. I can't even hate. Hit him. Got to find a way to get him rim badge. Have to. It's the only thing he lacking right now. Yep, and now you got to close out on him. And he right to the cup. Ooh, that's a close one to my steal. Thank you, run. Run. Got him on the pop. Stop leaving him. I missed! And I do not know how that was not green, but hey, it is what it is. Let me see something. Green. You better stay attached to him all the way up. And honestly, it's going to open up the drives like none other. Because I haven't even taken dunks. Because I've just, you know, kept knocking, keep, I keep knocking down threes. But I'm telling y'all, man, it's going to open up the driving lanes like crazy. Nope. Bob's in there. Good D, me. Y'all know whose board that is. I ain't even worried about it. Run. Foul, ref. Hello? Wake up. Come on. Come on. Bobby, Bobby, hey, Bobby. He got to respect your three-point prowess. And so, yep, overplaying you just that little bit. Come on. He is a little tired. We'll get him a break here soon. Could have been a dot. He low-key could have thrown one. Oh, yeah. Tell him, put it down, Magic. Man. Why are you continuing to leave him open, though? Like, you, you, it's not working, obviously. You think you would try something else, no? Oh, it's green, too! Good. Y'all everywhere. Good. Board. Bob's board. He clears the glass, too. I love it. Ah, that's me early. Board magic. Board magic. 
against me. And he's just tired. And, th and that's one thing. Just a couple more possessions with him, man. He got Josh Smith on him. Josh Smith, one of the best defensive players in the game. Look at that. Look at how much attention he is drawing. Hey, Bob. Go and get it, Bobby. I don't get it. I might never get it. Why? Why in the world would you leave Bob right there? It just don't make sense to me. Yo, this one's over. Bob's bored. Uh-oh, y'all see it. I need to get, get rid of this glass badge he got. I don't know why he got it. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, I'm not saying he's my primary ball handler. Look at this. 30 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. The dude literally outscored my opponent 30 to 19. He's just incredible. Nobody can is going to be able to compare to what he does at that power forward position. Now, with as good as he is offensively, that changes things for me. Because now, I definitely want to give him unpluckable. Probably want to give him dimer. Break starter, definitely. Blinders probably and maybe clutch shooter or maybe you even want to give him needle threader for as much offensive Like as much as he's gonna be in, uh, involved with on the offensive end the best power forward in the game No question about it now the question then becomes How do we get Bob netted like he rim badge because I was really surprised when I saw him have rebound badge I mean that doesn't really make sense to me. So I don't know. Okay. I really don't know how you're gonna You know give him how you're gonna give him rim badge. I really don't even know why he's got rebound badge to be honest with you. I guess what I would try and what I'm going to try for Bob is I, I mean, I, the coach is going to stay the same for me, but I'm going to try to upgrade the steel, upgrade the block, upgrade the perimeter, and just see if I can't find a way to get him that rim badge because that is so valuable, especially on current gen. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Mr. Bob down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.